All right, so so far we built this right here. All right, that's the the main part of the the claw here. Now we're going to work on building the drive gear that's going to go onto here that will move this. All right. So what do we need? We need uh a few pieces here. We need this wood piece here. Okay? We also need this wood piece here. Those are part of the, the gear, the drive gear. We're going to need one servo horn. Um, I've already pulled it out of the back here. So this servo horn only has one wing here. All right. Uh, you're also going to need a servo screw. All right. And let's see. We also need two M3 by six screws there. All right, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take this gear piece like this. I'm going to put it like this on my table. And I'm going to take my servo horn here, and we're going to put it into there like this. Okay, so this little notch there will go into it. Okay, then I'm going to flip it over, and I'm going to put this screw through here. Uh, toward the middle Okay so Let's do that. I'm gonna get my little baby screwdriver this time And screw it in Okay, it's going There we go Really got to use some force with this little screwdriver practice some finger strength there okay it's always going to be a little easier if you have a large screwdriver okay one more turn okay cool so that's there then I'm going to take this and this part matches up with these two holes here. Okay, these two holes and these two holes, like so. Okay, and then we're going to then put these two screws through like this. And go ahead and tighten. there and tight there cool now this part is going to then go onto the servo motor right so look which side it's uh we got to find the side that fits onto there um and let's go like and hold it like this so this is closed right now and let's just make sure that it can open and close okay so i gotta make sure this gets on there and let's uh, i'm gonna try closing it first and see if i can squeeze this thing on there all right there we go Cool. So it's on there. And let's see if I can do a full. I got open. Cool. Close. Open. And close. All right. So what I like to do, you might need to make sure for if it doesn't fully open or, or fully close, that means that that um, you need to to, you know, take this off because we got to calibrate and make sure the the um, motors in the right position the shafts in the right position to be able to support being uh, open and closed okay and we did this with the motor base as well where we would uh, just make sure that it can do the full range of motion uh, so you can review those videos if you need to but you want to make sure that it can open and close all right now close position uh, one one little tip here is that you see that this top gear right here 
is beyond this gear. So it should look just like this. That's my tip here. Uh, when it's closed, your gears should look like this. Okay. And then when it's open like this. Cool. And then now that that's in there, you can go ahead and put a screw in there. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that. like to use these baby screws here. We'll tighten it up. Okay. These little guys are hard to work with at times. I want to get it so you can see it complete. Okay. We'll try one more time here. I can do this. There we go. Good job. Okay. Open, close. Cool. I'm happy. Okay, let's clear this out a little bit. All right. Now the next step is to how do we attach this onto here? Let's do that in the next video.